So Aaron, um, I've gone through my piece. I think I may have gone over about a couple minutes. I apologize, uh, but I'll turn it back to you uh, in case uh, any of our participants um, need uh, or have any questions. And I will unmute you. Thank okay. you, Travis. Uh, Thank you. For that excellent presentation. Thanks for unmuting me. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, um, so this is a exciting day for all of us, um, and we are so happy to still have 140 people on the line. Um, I know there are a couple of questions that came in, and I wanted just to address them. But I would encourage you all to um, add other questions if you have them now. Um, but um, we will be, uh, Catherine will talk about next steps um, and some closing remarks, but this is really needs to be a collaborative effort. We are ready here at the Council of County Colleges and our Consortium for Economic and Workforce Development to provide the backbone and the leadership, um, but we can't do this alone and we need all of you to help make sure that this is successful. Um, the, and so, um, please continue to reach out to all of us um, and we will commit to making this an incredibly collaborative and inclusive effort. Um, and we ask you all to be parts of, part of that. So two questions. Um, Dana Scheel had a question about credit for prior learning, which I think got answered um, in the chat discussion, but I just wanted to echo um, her point, which is that, um, that um, it is critically important, I think, from our perspective, that we um, make sure that there are on-ramps to post-secondary education. So that means um, making sure that the innovative work that Dana and John Connolly and others have talked about in the chat continue to happen, where high school students have an opportunity to earn credit um, and to clearly know um, that there is a pathway to them for continued education at a community college and then a four-year college. It's also important, uh, and we are committed to this as well, that we make sure that individuals, and Travis touched on this, that individuals who are in the workforce system or are going in through non-credit programs, that they too um, have a path to further education, that there are no dead ends. And so the notion of offering credit for prior learning is a critically important component to this. We wanna make sure that everyone in New Jersey has a clear pathway. So. Dana, thank you for the work that you're doing in Monmouth County and um, with Brookdale um, and John Connolly, thanks for the work you're doing in Sussex. These are models that we need to continue to expand. And Jeff Schwartz, my friend from Camden, the Workforce Development Board had a question about the role of Workforce Development Boards. We see WDBs as being critical parts of the pathway partners. Um, we know that the Workforce Development System is really on the front line now in serving the a million New Jerseyans who do not have jobs and um, the many underemployed individuals. Um, we wanna use the Pathway and Skills Collaboratives, Jeff, and to other workforce leaders on the line to build stronger connections between workforce development programs and community colleges, adult, uh, uh, county vocational high schools, um, and our other partners. Um, we wanna make sure that when somebody walks into a one-stop career center, and doesn't know what to do to get onto a path to a better job, that they've got access to uh, pathways that will help them clearly understand where they are, help their counselor in the One Stop Career Center, the American Job Center understand where they need to go and to make better informed decisions about the pathway um, that they can get on to get a family supporting job and career. And so we see the workforce development boards as being critical components to the pathway partners and we will be asking all of the WDBs in the state to uh, join with us and to choose which uh, of the pathway and skill collaboratives they would like to work with us on, um, one, two, three, or four. Um, and um, we again believe that um, we've got to uh, create a much more integrative system of, of education and a much more integrative system of workforce uh, and economic development and education if we're going to solve the challenges and meet the opportunities that we face. So Jeff, thank you for being here and thank you for your leadership in workforce development. We look forward to working with you to make this meaningful to the work that you do and that your colleagues do across the state. So um, I think those were the main questions um, that we got on the chat. Um, again, please um, reach out to us. Um, 
please continue to provide your input and thoughts. We will be in touch with you on next steps. And with that, I will turn it over um, to Catherine for closing remarks and uh, where we go from here. Thank you, Aaron. I would like to draw your attention to one question, um, just because it's, it's pretty um, important. Um, Gerilyn Gregory, and she just said, maybe she walked away or, or missed out, but wanted um, to know how all this would be done. Um, meetings with community colleges and industry leaders or what? If you could just elaborate, I guess, again, very, very briefly on the three groups and how we'll be coalescing everyone together. Yeah, and thank you for the question. Thanks, Catherine, for bringing it to my attention. Um, so um, we are going to be convening industry leadership teams that will meet regularly. Um, they will consist of probably um, 12 to 18 uh, industry leaders that will meet with us on a regular basis to guide our effort to make sure that we understand the needs of workforce. The pathway partners, which include all of the educational institutions, workforce development boards, community organizations, and our colleges and the four-year colleges that choose to participate. Um, they will be meeting regularly as well uh, as an opportunity to identify, uh, help us create that inventory of the current state, um, but also to help us find opportunities for further collaboration. Um, we hope and we expect that this uh, framework, the Pathway and Skills Collaboratives framework, will lead to uh, much stronger um, uh, connections and partnerships throughout the state on a local level and on a statewide level. And then finally, um, the community college teams will also be meeting regularly throughout the next six months in particular to help guide this effort to make sure that the work of our community colleges are completely integrated and connected to this effort. So um, we promise to try to keep the meetings focused, productive, and limited. Um, but uh, there, this work has to be done collaboratively. Um, and so um, we know bringing all of you together and in subgroups of us all together and with even more partners on a regular basis will help advance this work. So thank you for that question. Thank you, Catherine, for bringing that to my attention. Yes. So thank you all for your attendance and participation uh, in our Pathway and Skills Collaboratives launch event. Uh, we're very excited. Your response or responses in the chat make us even more excited because uh, we are feeling that you understand where we're going, why we're taking on this task, and it seems like you're, you're pretty charged to get involved. And so that gives us energy. Thank you so much. Um, I want to talk about next steps. So in accordance with our very aggressive schedule, uh, our next steps are to have industry summits. So these will be meetings that we have the industry summit dates listed here. Of course, additional information will be sent out um, to everyone. But during our summits, we're going to have brief panels of uh, business leaders uh, addressing the recovery economic growth and equality or equity. Uh, and then we're gonna have, again, uh, breakout sessions. One for the employers, one for the pathway partners and community colleges to kind of talk about the information we received during those panels from our business leaders. Um, and we're gonna use all of that information to really inform our, our moves forward with regards to identifying the pathways that we're going to map out. Um, I want to, I noticed one comment that our forms on the, our website uh, for the Pathway and Skills Collaboratives only allows individuals to sign up for one collaborative. Guess what? We were thinking we didn't want to overstress anyone and there was no way folks wanted to sign up for multiple, but guess what? That will be fixed in 15 minutes and you'll be able to sign up for all four. <laughs> Again, your energy is really uh, charging us and you know we're about to make this happen and we're gonna make the economy, pathway information, everything better for our state collectively. Um, just want to let you know, we will be emailing 
all participants with the PowerPoint presentation, um, as well as um, a recording of this event. There were several requests for those. Um, I have kind of taken off of the chat a few emails of folks who jumped in for uh, other registered participants. So we're going to make sure we get to everyone who is interested. Thank you again. And you'll be hearing for, from us very soon because we are making this happen. Thank you.